I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Good morning, boys and girls. I am Miss Rashara, and I'm so happy to be with you once again for Children's Liturgy of the Word. Have you ever noticed when you look around in your school or your neighborhood, there seems like there's only two kinds of people, important people and not so important people. And I know when I feel like I'm not so important, it makes me sad, it makes me feel hurt. But I have a secret for you. As a Christian, as a child of God, you are a very important person. That's the way God sees you. He wants you to know each and every day he's with you and you matter to him. So let's begin our time of prayer today, recognizing that God loves us and we're important to him, we're special. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, you made us. You love us, you care for us. Allow us to be sure of your love, sure of your presence, sure of your care, that we might share that love with all we meet. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In our first reading, St. Paul was writing a long time ago to a new Christian community I was in a town called Corinth. Now Corinth was the kind of place, kind of like Philadelphia, where there's all kinds of people. Some people like pizza, some people like hoagies, some people like hot dogs, some people like potato salad. And sometimes when people are different, it's difficult to get along. There's quarrels, there's arguments, disagreements. But Paul offers, in this reading, some advice on how to get along with those who are different. Let us listen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when you eat or drink or do anything else, always do it to honor God. Don't cause problems for Jews or Greeks or anyone else who belongs to God's church. I always try to please others instead of myself and hope that many of them will be saved. You must follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. The word of the Lord. Say it with me. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble. Say it with me. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble. Our God, you bless everyone whose sins you forgive and wipe away. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble. So I confess my sins, and I told them all to you. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble. And so your good people should celebrate and shout. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble. Hallelujah, 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 amen. Hallelujah, 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 amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. May the word of the Lord be on my mind, my lips, and my heart. A man with leprosy came to Jesus and kneeled down. He begged, you have the power to make me well, if only you wanted to. Jesus felt sorry for the man, so he put his hand on him and said, I want to. Now you are well. At once, the man's leprosy disappeared and he was well. After Jesus strictly warned the man, he sent him on his way. He said, don't tell anyone about this. Just go and show the priest that you're well. Then take a gift to the temple as Moses commanded, and everyone will know you have been healed. 
The man talked about it so much and told so many people that Jesus could no longer go openly into a town. He had to stay away from the towns. But people came to him from everywhere. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's gospel, Jesus meets a man who is a leper. Leper is somebody who had serious skin problems. Leprosy caused a lot of pain, a lot of big sores, and usually if someone saw a leper, they ran the other way because they didn't want to catch it. Sounds similar to our times at all? There's two things that we notice in this gospel. That when Jesus sees a leper, a person in need, he goes to him. He gets close to him. For the first time in the leper's life, he, he, he meets somebody who cares, who has compassion, who makes his life better, who heals him. I know during COVID-19, you know, we do have to wear a mask and maintain social distance, but that doesn't mean that we can't be compassionate and caring, that we can't draw close to people who need us. Who is someone in your house that you could be compassionate towards? Who's someone in your virtual class, maybe, that you could be compassionate towards? Who's a friend from a, a team or a club that you know that you could be compassionate towards? The gospel also draws our attention to something else, right? Maybe you're not the person who sees someone in need and who ignores them. Maybe you feel ignored. Maybe you feel like no one wants to talk to you. Maybe you feel like you have no friends or you're being bullied. Jesus wants to heal you. He wants to be close to you. He wants to be your friend. He sees what you're going through. Even if nobody else notices that you feel sad or your friends aren't kind to you or you're alone. You're precious. God loves you. Jesus is never far away from you. You just have to do what the leper does. In your prayer, call out and say, Jesus, I need help. I'm in pain. And guess what? He will help you. We know from today's readings that God loves us. And with him, there's no such thing as an unimportant person. So let us stand now and profess our faith, knowing that it's our faith in Jesus that makes us a child of the Father who loves us and who's always with us and who always, always cherishes us. Do you believe in God, our loving Father, who loves all his children and thinks each one is special? Respond, I do. Do you believe in Jesus, God's only son, who treated everyone like a very important person? I do. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who brings people together in unity and peace? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, begun by Christ to be a community of love? I do. We are the Church of Christ, but we're not always a community of love. We don't always treat everybody like a very important person. So our response to each of these petitions will be, Come, O healing spirit. Try it with me. Come, O healing spirit. For all the people of Philadelphia and St. Raymond Parish, that God's spirit will fill us with love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, O healing spirit. For all children who've been teased or bullied, that God's spirit will fill them with comfort and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, O oh healing spirit. For all of us, as we struggle during this pandemic, that we would know God's love and be willing to share with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, O oh healing spirit. Lord, sometimes it's hard to be good, but with the help of your Holy Spirit, we know that we can be who you've called us to be. We can love the way you've called us to love. And that we can recognize how much we matter to you and allow that to give us joy and hope every day. Let us now pray the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father 
who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It was so great to be with you, boys and girls. I very much look forward to seeing you at church very soon. In the meanwhile, be sure to ask a parent or another family member to help you download the activity sheet. Keep praying, keep trusting, and know you are so important to God, and He loves you. You are so special, and we love you too. Have an awesome week.